Oh, hey guys. Uh, whoa. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Good morning. It's Sunday. Sunday fun day. I was just playing a little guitar, talking to my buddy on the phone, talking about cannabis. He's in prison. As you can see by my shirt, it's a Terrapin County morning. <laughs> it's Terrapin County morning. It's Terrapin County morning. It's Terrapin. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, 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 all right. Hey, Alexa, play me songs that won't get blocked by YouTube. Ah, I didn't think so. Alexa, play me songs by Slightly Stupid. It's just background music for me. It's not really for you guys. It's so my head doesn't go so fucking crazy. All right. I'm super excited, man. I, I really am. I get fired up for some strains. Oh, man. Coffee. The wife buys these. I miss my Duncan. All right. We're coming in. What's up? Terrapin. Sour tangy. It's like tangy. Ooh. Mmm. We're getting there, baby. We're getting there. Now, um, I don't like using the packs to cure my stuff. And the reason why is I, I really feel like it does. It, it, it absorbs terps. Man, this thing's starting to, the trichomes are starting to pop out on it. Ooh, -wee. check it. Now, I know, I know. I got to trim it up a little bit more, and I will. I'll do some more trimming here in a second. Oh, man. I wish you guys could smell this. Like, I mean, I know it's only hemp, but can't, you, I just, I can't tell. Telling everybody it don't matter anymore. All I really needed was a friend like you. Help me through and together we could change. All right, Tangy. Tangy. Now, Tangy, the genetics, you know, it depends on who you're going with. But California Orange and Skunk. A random skunk. Now, I got my I got my little, my little banger. I got my little guy. We're going to check it out. All right, Tangy. Tangy Sugar by Terrapin. Uh, this is going to be a cured run. Uh, the THCA is 1.7. TA, or sorry, THC is 1.7. THCA is 75. The CBG is 1. CBGA is 2. So that's awesome. Uh, you guys know, the more I get into it, the more I say, I like CBG. I'm not going to get, you know, all kinds of crazy things, man. And, um, re uh, CBG generates brain cells. Holy fuck. It repairs DNA. Holy fuck. CBG generates brain cells. It's okay though. We don't need it. It's not medicine. Ah, beta car point six six two. Lena Lu. This is gonna taste so fucking good. Point six three five. Beta Merce point six. So that's one point about nine. We can run it up to two, because we do that. So two percent in the Terps. That's dope for the top three. Think about that. Top three Terps, 2%. Top three Terps, 2%. Top three Terps, 2%. Dope, 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 dope. This was purchased at GTI. Rise. Green Thumb Industries. Yep. Um, scumbags, gotta say it. A little bit, little bit of extra bullshit that they do. They throw an extra five bucks on top of everything. So this is 55 ever ruts across the, across the state. 60 at GTI. Um, just whatever. I'm not a fan but, you know, I'm not. I'm not a fan. They gave me a 10% discount. Ooh. But your fucking prices are way high. So it eats up my 10% discount. Think about it. So, oh, now everybody gets a discount, dog. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me. Shut the fuck up. 60%. $60, right? $60. 10% of $60 is six, six bucks. So that means 
that this fucker is what? Uh, $54, right? So, usually it'd be $50 for me. So, man, whatever. Four extra bucks, I get it. But I had to drive. I had to drive all the King of Prussia. I, that's a far drive for me, for you guys that would know. Um, not cool, you know, whatever. But I have a job where that's the thing. That's just how it goes. Fucking, I'm working, I see drops, I'm at work where I'm supposed to be. And I don't have the luxury to just be like, all right, well, I'm out of here. Nah. I don't like the design of these bottles, by the way. It's a horrible design. Coffee gets up in there, gets all over my lips. Not a fan. All right. As you can see, I need my medicine. I'm all over the fucking place. This is this is what it's like. Sober right here. This is a sober. So this is my wake and bake. I've been I've been waiting for. I, you know, I had to sit here and look at it last night. My buddy over. You know, a uh, little sash action. And we were. He was like, "Man, just crack at you on, bro." Woo! Woo! Look at that. <laughs> you gotta open it. They like they like double seal in their jars. I'm not gonna lie, it actually works. Keeps it moist. Keeps it turp. Cause they know that these don't these don't cut it. Let's get it. All right. I'm not gonna lie, it's really dark. It's got a nice dank, crazy, like skunky orange, right? Like skunky yummy. Some wet, wet. Ah, yeah. Some wet, wet. Mix it up a little bit. Yeah, it's it's funky. That's like that's hard skunk. That smells like a straight up. <laughs> smells like an onion, almost like an Italian hoagie kind of sweaty armpit. Dirty knuckle? You guys know what I'm talking about. I've smelled some dirty, sweaty knuckles before. Oof. Fucking scary shit. Alright. Getting into it. We'll get a little little dab for the, starting out. This is my one of my favorite strains. Sour Tangy. Oh, I can't light. I can't heat. Where's my torch? Oh. Where's my torch? Sour Tangy. I love Love it. This is tangy. So I'm hoping that this is way better. Eight hundred and thirty-two degrees. We're looking for six hundred. Six hundred seems to be a good temperature. Six fifty-eight. I'll go in a little bit. I'll go in at like six ten, maybe if I can. Yeah, this thing's hot. It takes a second to cool off. Oh, that's, that's cool. There's like a little something in there. All right, 610. Cheers. I don't think this will fit in here, but yeah. <clears throat> Man. So it's like a it's like a funky It's like a funky orange. <clears throat> like a 
Good, like an armpit. <coughs> Got in a fight with an orange. Like, bro, it don't even make any sense. Yes, it does. You don't make any sense. I'll just start being Donald Trump in here. Nah, uh you did that. My man's crazy. Don't get too political. Like, everybody, like, my buddy came here and was like, oh, man, we're going to war with Iran. I just, that word. I mean, you don't, like, I don't know. <laughs> Getting back to this, sorry. <clears throat> you guys know how I am. I just randomly ran. Tom Sawyer, how you doing, buddy? You doing good, buddy? Tom Sawyer, you cool, bro? Hope you're good, man. Hope you survived the disposable debauchery. If you, if you did get get some action. All right, so we know this is a cured. Okay, we know that this is going to be, um, you know, leave your banger a little dirty. Uh, and, you know, and I get it. Like I said, it's. We don't, we don't like it that it's like that, but. <clears throat> hey, man, it's trim run. It's cured. It's, you know, shitty popcorn, whatever. Uh, uh, you know, over with because you been done and you smoke and spliffs. Slightly stupid, a little different. Let's change it up. So the reason why I usually use <coughs> um, like slightly stupid or or fortunate youth because they're the only two that when I tag them in my shit and I say music by slightly stupid music by what they don't block it by like Sony Entertainment. Sony Entertainment blocks a lot of stuff, so I don't um, try to use their stuff. All right, so tangy. It has that classic taste. I'm not going to lie. This one, honestly, the sour tangy, to me, tastes more like tang tangerine than this does. Um, this is like, this was like straight like skunk. Like, it was like really, really skunky. Um, <clears throat> but, but the residual, the residue, the leftover taste in my mouth is an appetizing, like a funky tangerine maybe like a fermented one you know what i mean like that's got like that extra whatever man what do you guys think of this beard are we are we just gonna let it rock fuck it i don't know i'm high as shit like man i should shave my head i, I just yeah i get high and just think crazy shit like oh man you gotta do something um uh, i like looking around and seeing the vapors like still floating in the air Okay, I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday, by the way, um, and yes, that also includes Tom Sawyer, I hope Tom Sawyer enjoy, enjoys his Sunday, um, man, I gotta clean everything, today is a cleaning day, probably won't get there, I'll probably go south back and just play my guitar all day in the nice, in the nice sun, outside in the sun, sun, know what I'm saying, Not I mean, Not what, now I'm saying, Alright, so Tangy's super good, right? You guys see it. I'm starting to come out of my little funk. A little fired up. Um, uh, do, look, do some research in some CBG, man. I'm like legit. CBG, CBG. I want it. I want it. I need it. It repairs DNA. It um, regenerates brain cells. So, either that or... It, 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 it regenerates old brain cells or something with brain cells, but it definitely gives you fucking, you're smart. It increases your brain capacity. So I really want CBG. I want to, I want to fucking, yeah, man. Like I want to, I want to dab some CBG isolate and see what happens. Um, so Tangy is by DNA Genetics, I believe. Um, uh, Tangy Dream. I remember that. I do remember t uh, Tangy Dream when I was young. I was a young, young, young kid. Young kid. Should we Should we go in with my clout banger? Should we? Damn, this thing. This thing needs some love, man. Look at how thick this banger. Yo, this thing stays hot. Like, this thing will fuck some oil up. Man. All right. 
So, it's a creeper, you know, it takes a minute to hit you. And I know, everybody with these videos. It is what it is. So, we're going to go back in. We're going to go hot. Hot, hot, hot. We don't need no ecstasy. It's not. That's not hot. 500 degrees. I didn't heat it up long enough. To. God, I bet it's hot now. Mary Jane. Ooh, thousand degrees. Now, if I was to go in right now, something would happen. Probably catch on fire. <clears throat> so, yeah, Tangy's great. Great for your wake and bake. Great to get your day going. Um, I love it. I, I, I really do. Uh, Sadly, there is an oil shortage now because Pennsylvania, you fucking creeps. <clears throat> what they did. You guys don't believe me? I'm telling you. It caused a flour shortage, so all yous would stop buying flour. And then you had to buy oil to get your tolerance up. And then they dropped a bunch of flour, and now there's no more oil. And now you can't get high off flour. Now you're like, dude, the flour don't work. I gotta buy a fuck ton of it. And this, this is their plan. <clears throat> All right, six fifty. Cheers. I sucked a little bit too hard. <coughs> Got a little little funk in there. <coughs> nice. Yeah, I'm I'm up there. We sitting on we sitting on cloud ten today. <coughs> Alright, I got a question for everybody. Who's still watching? Who really who legit loves this channel, who fucks with me, who fucks with uh Terpy Tom, who fucks with Puff and Pete? <coughs> Those are my guys. Shout out to my guys. Those are my guys. Fucking, them guys took the fucking leap of faith just like I did. And I, I feel like I gave them the push. So, that's awesome. They have channels. They're getting their numbers up. They're honest. They don't bullshit. Um, I consider them friends. <coughs> brothers. Um, so, it's super cool, right? So, with that said, we're, we're thinking about doing a subscription box. Um, it's going to be 20 bucks plus shipping. That's my goal a month. Uh, I might, you might get a t-shirt. You might get a rig, like a six inch rig. Um, <clears throat> maybe we'll do some slaps. Maybe we'll do, you know, it's going to be, we're, we're not, <clears throat> we're really not, <clears throat> we're going to put all of our money into the products. And not so much into the um, <clears throat> the packaging. Packaging will be simple. It'll be like some simple, cheap, jinky box. Um, bubble wrap. You know? That's pretty much how it's going to be packaged. It'll be simple. 
<coughs> maybe look into getting some slaps, but it's really going to be focused on just for smoke. So, you know, like you get a rig, you get a dab tool, you get, you know, whatever. We're, we're going to do some small subscription boxes. Um, <coughs> but, but most importantly, <coughs> we're basically, I'm, I'm saying this, I did hemper for a year, right? By the way, Tangy's great. I love it. You guys know what it is. Terrapin. 100% if I had to pick my favorite grower in PA is Terrapin. Across the board. Do you want to know why? They have eights of flour for $35. 20% and above. <clears throat> I say they, but what I mean by that is Terravita. Chris Fisker sets the price across the board for all the products in Pennsylvania. If one dispensary would just jump out there and just cut her off, maybe not her as a, saying that, but whoever the next dispensary to come out and drop Terrapin for $50 a gram, $50 grams of oil. <clears throat> so if you drop Terrapin to $30 on an eighth of flour and $50 on oil, you will take all of my business 100%. I will drive to wherever the fuck your dispensary is at. And, well, on the east part of Pennsylvania. And I think you know, if you follow me, I think you know who I'm talking to. You need to do that. Because your former boss, it's the only way you're going to ever take down your former boss. Knowing how much money that they make. Knowing that these products they pay are 5 to $10 a gram and they charge us 55 to 120 <clears throat> Knowing that and knowing the profit that you could make, you can, you can, I'm trying to, it, it, it listen, I get it. You're going to have the mentality of the rich. The mentality of the rich is this, you have to buy the most expensive thing because that's the best. And I say mentality of the rich, stereotypically rich, meaning you were raised rich. You never had to want for nothing. You don't know what suffering is. So that's one end of the spectrum. And then the other end of the spectrum <clears throat> is the person who's bedridden, uh, who cannot work, who's disabled, who's whatever. And what they get is, on this end, is a monthly check from their government for like $1,400. <clears throat> okay? So for them is, well, what's the cheapest? All right? So you have two ends of the spectrum. And I understand that. We all understand that. I, I mean, I'm kind of like, all right, I used to be right here. And I'm, I'm, I'm leveling up slowly. I'm, I'm, I'm in a, uh, same tax bracket I've been in, right? <clears throat> I think this year I'll probably level up to a new tax bracket. I feel like this year I'll get, I, I think I'll get a significant raise. I mean, you know, if you make a 400 million, if you make a $4 million deal and 10% of that, you know, for your, for your for your finder's fee for making that deal possible. But my point is, <clears throat> this stuff is, I don't know. I forget my point because I'm high. But it, su it sucks. You know, it's really shitty. It's shitty that, you know, I, I, I got people fucking playing games. But anyway, what I'm saying is Terrapin, right? <clears throat> That's my point. I remember now. You gotta fight through it sometimes. Don't don't let your brain just don't give in sometimes. Um, but so what I'm saying is terrapin is the best because of this. Now besides these fucktards that do the dumb shit and you know honestly man like fuck you guys. Like seriously fuck you guys. You know whoever whoever sets the prices at rise you need to eat it eat a big fat one because it's not cool man like. You know that you're right down the, you know, <clears throat> right down the street from Terra Vida. And you know that Terra Vida is five dollars cheaper. But you know that your drops, let's say you get your drops the week after they do. Every time. Kind of coincidentally, it just seems to be that way. So after Terra Vida goes out, then the guys like me who, who work all week and fucking miss it or whatever the case may be. I'm not just saying, like, I, I say work, but that's me. That's what I'm doing. That's the reason why I could not get to the dispensary when the drop happened. And I hate saying the drop because there should never, we shouldn't even look forward to it. I should just go to fucking the damn dispensary whenever and be like, oh, I need fucking 10 grams of tan, 100 grams of tangy, and it should be there. You know, because it's my medicine. And that's, 
that's kind of where I'm at with this whole program. It's not, it's not a medical, it's, it's a sad, sad, it's, it's a failure as a medical program. Because, you know, if you look at Illinois, right? Where you at over there? You, you there, fucking Tom Sawyer? Look at Illinois. Illinois is, they stopped. They, they ran, they shut down. No more recreational sales until the growers and everybody could get back on par. Because the medical patients, they didn't want the medical patients to fucking run out of medicine. And then meanwhile, MPA, and it's gone. Because in fucking 10 seconds, as soon as it drops, boom, it's gone. You got people waiting outside like it's fucking the the methadone clinic in the morning or the fucking dope man back in the day. <clears throat> yeah. For all you who uh, you ever been down to Philly, you been down to Kensington, you know about the freebies in the morning when the fucking dope man or runner used to come out and give out the samples to all the fucking junkies. And then they would run around and get. So, you know, if it's good dope, right, you fucking get high as fuck. So you get your sample. You guys fuck your word of mouth. You get to all the fucking kids coming off the L. <clears throat> the fucking kids come down off the L. And they're looking for the motherfucker who's not a hard as fuck. Yo, what you got? Where'd you get that from? Yo, man, man, the street. No, I'm saying, boom. You gotta wake up, dude, like ten times because he's nodding the fuck off. Because he can't. Because he's about to die. Because he's so high. You know what I mean? Motherfucking. How'd you get this high? I fell asleep and forgot to die? Goddamn, Mac Miller. So, my man felt... Eh, uh, you know, that's fucking, that's, yeah. I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about that, anyway. <clears throat> but all I know is this. This shit is expensive as fuck. Yeah, I completely lost my train of thought. <clears throat> I don't know what I was talking about, but... Listen. That's what you gotta do. Somebody, please, fucking come out and put Terrapin at... $30 an eighth, $50 a gram. Before anything, before any best for like anybody off the street, no discount, no nothing, 50 and 30. I'd like 25 and fucking 45. You really want to be, you want to let, let your dick hang, just, eh, or your clit or whatever, or your whatever. I don't give a fuck what you got. Let that shit just, you know what? Check me out, bro. I give no fucks. I'm only making $10 off each gram. I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> and I get that. It's easy for me to say that because I'm not the one who has operation costs, overhead, blah, 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 blah. I know. I know how businesses work. I, I do know. Um, I don't know, though. You know, there's a couple, there's business mottos, you know? Fuck everybody, make money. That's, that's one business motto, motto. You know, and a lot of people in Pennsylvania have that. And that's the thing, like, you know, we bitch. I'm always going to bitch. Because I think it's fucked up. Especially, it, and the only reason I complain is because other rich people in other places let that shit go. Just saying. Motherfuckers. When I got people, when I post my, my 10 gram haul at $600 and they're like, bro, are you fucking serious? I'd kill myself. I've had people tell me, it's like, yeah, I, if I was you, I would kill myself. <clears throat> like, I couldn't, I can't survive like that. There's no way, because I need this much oil, and I couldn't afford it. So I would just kill myself. I mean, and their logic to me is like, well, okay, though. I mean, I get it, and then there'd be there'd be no relief for you, and, and there'd, no, there'd no hope. Like, in, you know, certain situations, all right. But they live in a state, whatever, Colorado, where you can get 48 grams for $600. What? Yeah. That happens. There's places like that. You know, and hey man, it is what it is. But <clears throat> here's the here's the, it doesn't matter, right? Like no matter what, you're still gonna get your money. But I, I just want selections and choices. So there you go. Hope you guys like this. Tangy man. It's my favorite. It gets the brain going. Who fuck I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to do a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> Probably play my guitar outside, truthfully. That's Sunday fun day, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Enjoy your day. You know, and uh, check me out on Instagram if you want. If you guys are looking for some shirts, you know, I make shirts. I like making shirts. It kind of gives me peace when I'm doing it. I like working for just, you know, for that whole thing, too. So check me out on Instagram, <clears throat> xconjohn. 
Um, don't forget, if you guys haven't entered into the giveaway, it's a little raffle deal. I mean, it's a lot of shit. Maybe everybody thinks I'm bullshitting, but <clears throat> I don't know. And I looked into it. I can't. I can't send. I, I don't know. If you win, I'll just fucking ship you a can, I guess, of butane via Amazon because I can't. I don't know. It's like the. I don't know how Amazon. Amazon gets away with it. Yeah, you know Jeff Bezos makes like four, four thousand dollars a second. That's crazy. You also know that if you try to compare yourself to somebody else, you'll lose your fucking mind. That's really true. Like, damn man, I need to make more money. Meanwhile, Jeff Bezos makes four thousand dollars a second. Like, what? So I like, figure out how much money did that dude make this whole fucking time I've been talking. That's insane. You know what I mean? <clears throat> It's because constantly people are buying stuff. We're consumers. You know, so I don't know. I know a lot of people don't trust the fucking the good deal. They feel like it's a scam, and that's sad. That's really sad that we live in that kind of world. But I swear to God, dude, I promise, my shit is legit. It is exactly what I tell you. It is. It's good for fucking twenty to forty washes, and it's ten dollars a shirt. That's it. I mean, and I'll put anything you want me to on a shirt. And then the shipping is five dollars or ten. It's like eight ninety or something. But I one time it was ten bucks, so I just said ten for the for the two X or above. And if you're a two X and you have, I have to charge you more because it costs me more. That's just how life goes. But other than that, I'm not ripping people off, man. I just don't know. But a lot of people just they'd rather. I I don't I don't understand the human brain. And I say human brain because I don't feel like I'm a human at times. Because I don't know why. Why would you want to spend sixty dollars on one hoodie when you could, when you could get two of them from me for sixty dollars? I don't get that. I don't understand that. Like it fucks me up, man. It really does. It fucks me up. It's like, and I look at it. I look at it like, damn, that's exactly the same shit that I did. And this dude got sixty dollars for that, and I'm charging thirty. What the fuck? I don't get it. And then I figured it out. It's because this guy over here is fake as fuck. Like I figured it out. Like ah oh, man. Like I don't fit into the. I you know I got this going on. I I, I don't look whatever. You know what I mean? And uh, you know I fucking say what I want, do what I want. I'm a little wild. I'm kind of aggressive. I, at times I could be psychotic. You know, whatever. I don't know. But it's fucking ten dollar shirt. I seen a guy sell a shirt the other day for thirty bucks, right? Thirty bucks. I'm not gonna even gonna listen. Thirty bucks. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars for the same shit. Gideon, um, Gildan, whatever the fuck they're called. I buy the premium t-shirts because I like. I wear my own clothes, so I. What the fuck? Like I want this shit to be like. Ah, that's nice. Uh, yeah, Gildan, right? That's the name of it. <clears throat> I don't know. Tom Sawyer's not watching because he don't like listening to me talk about shit. But I'm just saying, this is how I feel. I, I've been alive for just about forty years, <clears throat> and I used to be a money hungry motherfucker, man. Money, money, money. I drove a Navigator, fucking had diamonds, fucking you know, had the trophy woman with fucking looked fake as fuck. Was like this, and this. With this, with this, you know, the, the hourglass and the, the fucking, I had all that, the good clothes and the fucking this and the money and the fucking, I was never happy and I just never had enough. I always needed more, like for some reason. But I, you know, to be honest, it's pretty cool. You know, like some there's some cool things about it. You know, like being able to be like fuck this, let's just go on vacation or whatever. <clears throat> you know, but. But like even that, like that's kind of lame, cause like you know, at the time I had my son, like he he had school, so like we would do like weekend trips, and then he'd be like, "Dude, I'm tired. Like, fuck, I can't do this." You know what I mean? Like, so all right, maybe, whatever. But for what? Like it didn't matter. And like I was a dickhead that would spend a hundred twenty dollars on fucking something that was really only worth ten. You know, I used to be that fucking yeah, whatever, right? Or just throw money at him. And that's crazy. You know, now I don't do any of that. I mean, I just give people stuff, and 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 didn't doing that. People are like, man, that feel weird. What? 
they're like selling shirts for 10 bucks. Like, ah, it must be shitty quality. I mean, for a $10 shirt, what do you expect it to last forever? If you don't do what I tell you to, wash them inside out on cold and then hang dry or dry on, you know, like low, just all. If you dry them on high, it'll fuck them up. And just, it's just how it goes. It's, it's duh. <clears throat> I'm just telling you, like, if you just do this, it's hey, one person. But, so, yeah. I'm just confused at what happened with society, man. Like, everybody's complaining about being fucking broke and fucking whatever, but then they make dickhead-ass decisions and... $60 for a hoodie. I seen a... I seen a $600 hoodie. $600. They washed it once and the shit was fucking ripped off. $600 they paid for it. Wow. Hmm. That's crazy. $600. Think about that. This motherfucker paid $600. I've seen it. $600 for a hoodie and the whole drawing was ripped off. The whole thing. It was like, this. like just imagine this with like hanging off. It was crazy looking. It's like, damn it, dude. So, yeah. I do, I do a transfer sublimation hybrid. It's some shit that I came up with and it works out. What do you want me to do? Like, it's in there and it's like, melted on and it feels good i just using this as the example but like we can use cannabis as the example why is this 55 in other states it's fucking 30 same company 35 whatever same company you know terrapin same company same genes same genetics same fucking everything the only difference is it's not probably the same person extracting it because that's theoretically impossible we don't have wormholes like that yet where you can just like Phoom. all right i'm over here and then Phoom. Walk through a door and you're in, you know, from Colorado to PA, just like walking through a door. Like, oh shit. Like, that would be cool. That would be dope then. <clears throat> but I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I'm just rambling. Tom Sawyer hates when I ramble. But, yeah, so, Tangie. Tangie's probably, you gotta watch Tangie. Tangie's not gonna be one for who, who like, uh, like, I, got, I know somebody that when she gets high, yo, she don't shut the fuck up. I mean, I, I could be like that at times. I'm self-aware, so I always say, like, oh, my bad if I'm talking too much. And people, most people are like, nah. And I think they just say now, nah, but, like, really, oh, dude, yeah, you do talk a lot. Then just fucking say it, man. All right, guys. Yo, have a great Sunday. Um, You know, and, uh, oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> talking about Puff and Pete and Terpy Tom. Check them out. Give them, give them some subscriptions. They deserve it. They're honest reviewers just like myself. And <clears throat> this booth, right? Speaking of that booth, thanks a lot. Oh, time to take my medicine. Dismiss that along. Thanks a lot, Chris. Peter goes in you for the $15 donation. Doll hairs. There ain't no nation like the donation. And he just donated 15 bucks. We appreciate that. We, I say we because it's now Terpy Tom. And Puff and Pete, Puff and Pete and Turpin Tom, Pete Tom, Tommy Pete, Puff and, Puff and Tom, Tommy Puff Pete, wait, what, that, that sounds, that last part, Oof. sorry guys, a little, a little sexual there, um, but we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're doing it, we're getting the booth, and <clears throat> we're gonna have shirts, and we're gonna have glass, and we're going to have boxes. We're going to do our boxes. And we're going to have um, shirts. And I'm, I'm working on CBD products. I'm working on flour. I'm working on all that. So, um, yeah. Working on it. Check it out. Check me out. Check them out. Check all this out. Thanks for the donation, Chris. I appreciate it, buddy. Um, anybody else out there wants to give a donation to help to raise funds for this booth? It's 600 I mean, you know... Honestly, we could, it does help. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I got to work fucking overtime to get extra money for, for this channel. I do it every week. You know, I don't have to, but it definitely helps financially because the stuff's expensive. I mean, to be honest with you, you guys see me. I try to do a new review every day of a new product. That's fucking expensive, man. It's like way expensive. Um, so, oh yeah. So let me give you, I'm going to start doing something too on Sundays I'm going to start giving you the lineup for the week, the reviews to come. 
um, something I want to try doing. So I'm just looking over here. Unless something changes, like I said, we're kind of in an oil shortage over here in PA, and I on this side where I'm at. And I say that because unless I go to Philly, uh, honestly, that's what I'm gonna start having to do, which is crazy. It's like fucking a three-hour round trip with traffic. And fucking 76 is a nightmare. Um, no matter what, 67. Oh, it's fucking nightmare. So anyway, with that said, that that's it. That that is the last. Um, gram of oil that I have to open. I mean, I have this, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's five of them that I did. All right. This guy right here is going into capsules today. This is the Tangy. That's this. All right, cool. So, what we got coming up for the week? You know, yeah, 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 I know. Probably like 90% of people don't even watch this one, but whatever. If you do, cool. Um, <clears throat> I got some cards. So, I kosher change, I probably won't review, but I don't, I can't remember, if I, I'm sure I did this. Um, I just grabbed this because I loved it. Um, you know, Tangy told you. Um, uh, Julius Caesar cart, I'm going to check that guy out. We'll check this dude out. Um, I don't believe I reviewed that. Um, we have Prime's Distillate Vape Cartridge. I'm going to check that out, see how that goes. Um, it's raw. See, it says raw distillate, so it should be, theoretically, it should just be clear. Um, there's some there's some good THCV in here, some CBN, some CBG, a lot of CBG, um, and no CBC, of course, no CBD. So that's pretty cool, and zero Turks, all right? Also going to do the, uh, one of my favorite, just all around, it's a sativa, one of my, it's Durban, pure, it's a pure sativa, it's a land race, um, if they have the genetics, which, you know, some, sometimes they don't get it right, but we'll see, this is a lot, a live resin cartridge, um, CBG on this is 6%, so I'm, I'm really looking for it, 6 fucking percent for that CBG, so old dad's looking for, I'm looking for some, I'm looking to talk to the aliens with that one, and then I got some flour, I got, it's agri, man. This agri kind. So they have a strain, and their strain that their their claim to the strain is an is is a narco or opiate. I think it says is the like I I don't I can't remember what she said. Damn, what did Jess say? Because I read it too and I couldn't remember. But it's basically like it's basically what feels like what opiates do. So I was like, oh, I kind of stayed away from that one yesterday. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not trying to nod off, um, but I get what they're saying though, because like some some indicas, some I feel like it's like a warm blanket, and I know that feeling, and that's why I stay away from them. Um, you know, I don't know, but I got green um, Kush, right? C U S H. Um, so yeah, these. You know, I, I get I. It's fucked up because I gotta go to Liberty. So, to get a 20% discount. So, these are usually $20, and I paid um, $14 a gram for these. So, that's pretty cool. Um, I got Blueberry Chronic Diesel, a, um, Agrikine Blueberry Chronic Diesel, and I got uh, Green Cush, C-U-S-H. Um, you know, so, yeah, and if, if, if I can get more oil, of course, I'll get it. Um, I just, the live, I gotta be honest with you, paying fucking $80 a gram, even with my discount, you know, it ends up being, uh, what is it, $64? So, that's cool. Still. And peep game what Cresco is doing too, by the way. Keep it. Everybody else is selling live for 80 bucks. Why don't we? Well, we can't. We've been selling $65 grams. Sell $40 half grams. That doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. When they can buy a gram at 60, 65, well, they get a breakdown at, at a gram. But we don't sell grams anymore. But that's the point. <laughs> Fucking, you know what I mean? If only I could heard that conversation. With, like, the good person and the evil, you know what I mean, in the room. 
but but we're taking away the grams and we're only gonna offer half grams. Well, yeah, but that's just how it goes. That's 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 how the that's how those hippies think. If a half gram's forty, then the whole gram should be sixty. I mean, they're right. That's how it works. That's how breakdowns work. The more shit you buy, the you know cheaper it becomes. Which I don't know. I guess, but from a guy who makes shit from nothing, that sucks. But I get it. I do the same thing. I do it too. If you buy ten or more shirts from me, they go from being ten dollars a piece to eight dollars a piece. I mean, you got to do that though. Give somebody a deal. You know what I mean? All right. Enjoy your day, Johnny. I love you, buddy. I wish you would text me back. It sucks.